My name is Terry Sewell, and I represent the 7th Congressional District of Alabama. My name is Hanson Clark, and I represent Michigan's 13th District. I'm John Corney. I'm the congressman from the great state of Delaware. David Cislaney, the 1st District of Rhode Island. I'm Colleen Hanabusa. I represent Hawaii's District 1. Frederica Wilson, District 17, Miami-Dade County, Florida, and Broward County. Bill Keating, and I represent Massachusetts 10. My name is Karen Bass. I represent District 33 in Los Angeles. Cedric Richmond, Louisiana, 2nd Congressional District. The universal overreaching theme that we have to address is going to be the economy and jobs creation. The most prevalent issue that we have to tackle um, is job creation. Um, all of my energy is going to be focused on what can we do to get people working again, to get our economy back on the right track. I think it's really important that we rebuild manufacturing in this country and make things here again in America. Well, I'm here in Washington to create jobs, to create jobs for my constituents. President Roosevelt had it uh, right when he said that a good job uh, is uh, the best thing for people. Number one, whatever we do, it should be good for the economy and create jobs. You know, the area that I represent has just been devastated. Many of the people have lost hope. They've lost their spirit. So I ran for Congress to let them know that they can put someone in office, they can put people in office who actually care for them. Um, the thing that has impressed me um, so much in my first days here in, in Washington is the quality of uh, the people that I've met in the Democratic caucus. I think the one thing that struck me uh, in the caucus uh, meetings that I've had so far, how sincere the members were, uh, even the members that lost their seats how much issues still care to them. To be a member of the Democratic Caucus really is to look at the people who make up the caucus. And there's people in the room who have impacted my life, although I might just be meeting them right now. I want to thank the members of the Democratic Caucus and the Democratic Congress because they've been our legislators since the storm and they've made sure that New Orleans has been rebuilt. When people reach out and give you so much, uh, you have an obligation to do the same. The challenge, I think, is really um, to make sure that the American people know how hard uh, we've worked uh, and will continue to work on their behalf. I look forward to working with all my colleagues on the Democratic side, standing up for the values and principles that we believe in and stand for. With Democrats sticking together and fighting for their principles and what they believe in. I believe that being a member of the Democratic Caucus is about collaboration, working across districts and across regions. Uh, it's about finding common ground. I think the 111th Congress will go down in history as being one of the best ever. I'm jealous that I wasn't in it. Um, but I, I really think that what they did was put purpose back in this country. Well, to me, the most important topics over the next couple of years, November 3rd, that represented day one of taking the House back. But policy-wise, it's really defending the gains of the 111th Caucus. Uh, I'm very proud of the work that was done in those two years, and I want to stand and support and make sure that we do not allow the Republicans to reverse any of the gains over the last couple of years, and that we prepare to take the majority back. And that's who I am. 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 That's some of what I am. That's who I am. That's who I am. And I approve this message. <laughs>